At the Havre de Grace Jazz and Blues Fest, you can take in the beautiful sights of Havre de Grace while enjoying some great music. That festival kicks off this Friday and features 10 great bands and even some film screenings. Here to tell us more about it is the co-chair for the event, Suzanne Chadwick. Welcome. Thank you, Elsa. First and foremost, I love your outfit. Oh. Thank you. Yes, love, I had to say that first. It's going to be a fun festival, so I had to dress fun with festival. fun. festival, yes. So this is the inaugural, or inaugural, this is the inaugural event, right? Yes. This is the first time you've had first it. First time event. Yes. So, um, Have to Grace renovated uh, the Cultural Center at the Opera House, an 1870 building, spent $4.1 million. This is the Have to Grace Arts Collective, yes. yes. Uh, redid uh -huh. this, uh, the organization that redid this building. Yes. So we've had about a year and a half now that we've been open and about a year ago we decided to do a jazz and blues festival showcase it the right way right yeah well and the town and the town so for people who have not visited before or they have visited but they haven't seen it in this light tell us what we're going to experience as part of this festival it's gonna take in all of town uh, first Friday is an event that's held s during the summer months uh, kicking uh, shutting down streets and having stages all over town and um, restaurants out on the streets and life you know big size chess boards and whatnot so first Friday is gonna have jazz and blues stages yeah and that will kick off that's a free event also okay. at the Opera House we have a film a free film jazz on a summer's day uh, we will also follow with our first headliner Jack Broadbent who I found on Joe Bonamassa's 2018 artists to watch for he, that's what I was gonna ask you these artists how are you finding them uh, so for this one, uh, well, that one, that was an online research, yes. um, and he is the new master of the slide guitar. He was busking the streets of Amsterdam in 2016, then later found himself on the stage of Montreux Jazz Festival, touted as the new master of the slide guitar. Wow. He's got something special. Wow. And so there was online, there was con consulting uh, different people in the industry. Uh, there was uh, WXPN uh, Blues uh, host and uh, the Baltimore Blues Society uh, president. Uh, lots of different people were involved, uh, mm -hmm. as well as myself. You really curated an amazing list. I mean, you're talking about the Montreal Blues Festival or Jazz Montreux. Festival. Montreal. Yeah, the Montreal, um, yeah. Rochester's got one too. I know that some yeah. of the artists are, are coming down for that as well. Really an amazing time. So when people come there, they want to get tickets. Some of the events are free and then some they have to buy tickets, correct? Right. The okay. other free event is a high school jazz band's performance oh. where we have different ja high school jazz bands from around the state. Yes. Um, and they will have just had a clinic with one of the musicians from the Cab Calloway Orchestra. Wow. And so after that clinic, there's a free performance. And then later that afternoon, on Sunday is the Cab Calloway Orchestra, which is pretty exciting, with opener Nico Sarbanes' trio. So, Haver de Grace, it's, I mean, it's a hub of a lot of art, a lot of music. It, it's a really cute town, so yes. people can spend the entire day there, not just for the festival, but right. really get to know the town. There's restaurants or even businesses having specials, you know, like a, uh, Joe Retro's having a vinyl special, buy a, a, a vinyl album for a dollar. And so all kinds of things, free admission to museums, yes, that kind of thing. So, so. this is for the whole family. I mean, I know I'm right. skewing more adult, I mean, because you hear a lot of jazz, but kids will enjoy this as well. Right. It, there's something for everybody, you yes. know, between Maryland Rising Stars stage, uh, where we have up-and-coming artists, or our Grammy-nominated Mindy A. Bear and the Bone Shakers with yes. opener Johnny Neal, who was the keyboardist for the Allman Brothers. We've got all kinds of things, and we are very grateful to visit Hartford for their, their sponsorship of the yes. event, Integrity Real Estate, APGFCU, a lot of support. Yes. Well, this is a time we want to support. We're going to go there. That festival starts Friday, June 7th, and it goes the entire weekend. You can get a discount. Just use the code WMAR for those discount tickets. Thank you so much for being here. Thank really you. Really appreciate, appreciate it. And we'll be right back right after this. Stay tuned.